Hello guys, I am Rahul Shwati. So in this tutorial, we will deal how to sort double dimension array. So let's suppose we are having an example which is order of 3 by 4 matrix. The order of matrix is 3 by 4 and the input is 1, 4, 9, 0, then 2, 3, 5, 6, 19, 10, 7, 8. Then our output of sorted array in ascending order is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 19. So let's start with the example. Uh, we can say uh, first of all we need import java dot util. I am writing comment also that is importing packages. The next is create a class. We can say class xyz then open the class then public static void main from where the actual execution start execution starts here after that create the scanner class object scanner sc is equal to new scanner this is the scanner class object that is used for accepting the values system dot in after that declare the array we can say a of first of all we have declared the array with unknown size after that take two variables m comma n and pass the message system dot out print ln enter m and n that means enter the orders so let's move to the next page m is equal to what uh, sc dot next int user entry of the first dimension then n is equal to what we can say sc dot next int number of columns after accepting the values are f of m and n let's suppose wait a second ok fine so let's suppose we are having the uh, a then a will be declared as a is equal to new int this is the alternative method of declaring the array ok we have declared the array then now we will accept the values from the user that is system dot out dot print ln enter the array so let's start with the loop for int r is equal to 0 r is less than what m r will be plus plus this one is for the row for row then for int c is equal to 0 less than um, n for the number of columns c will be what plus plus for column then accept the values in r is to c is equal to what sc dot next int we have accepted the values and the next part is sorting of the array when we talk about this sorting the sorting is done with the help of four loops basically first loop is for selecting the row second loop is for selecting the columns we can say rs is equal to 0 less than what m rs plus plus after that for int we can say cs selection of column this is the for selection of column plus plus then for now our actual element by which we will compare this loop is for the variables which by which we will compare the selected row 
then for int c is equal to what 0 less than n and c will be plus plus here this particular two loops are for selecting these are for selecting and these are for comparison we'll select the one element and compare with the whole with the whole array then select will select the second element and will compare with the whole array then select the third element and compare with the whole array so the condition will be if a of r is to cs is what greater than a of r is to c then we will swap the elements that is we can say int t a of r is to s ok a of r is to s is equal to a of r is to uh, we can say r s is to c s that means selected element a of r s is to c s is equal to t we have swapped the both the selected and the current element with each other now close all the loops here it will continue one after another that means it will select the first element then compare with the whole then select the second element then compare with the whole so this was the process of sorting now print the array for printing we need only two variables int r is equal to what 0 less than m it is less than what m after that r will be plus plus then for int c is equal to 0 less than n c will be equal to plus plus then uh, we can say sop ln actually when you write please write system dot out dot print a of r is to c then here we'll write the SOP and after that to print in the form of matrix SOP ln so this was the basic printing and after printing close the main and close the class this was the main and this was the class so that's all about this tutorial thank you